I'm a pre pretty good person, but I have like a, a slight reputation of being a complete narcissist. Yeah, well, yes. Uh, for, uh, what is it, like graffiti? I was drawing uh, like inverted crosses and pentagram on the subway timetable and uh, got caught. I was drunk, of course, and, but I got caught and uh, a whole unit of cops came to tell me off. And I got fined, basically, but it wasn't like, like that. Well, I actually got that, I think, but I wasn't thrown in like a custody or anything. I just, they told me off and they told me I'm a bum and, you know, um, you know, if I ever see you again, all that type of thing. And, and then I got fined like $350 or something. Hawaii. It's Hawaii. I'm generous, I think. I hope people like that. I like that too, uh, myself and other people. Generosity. I'm a pr pretty good person, but I have like a, a slight reputation of being a complete narcissist. You know, but I'm, um, I don't think I am. Dracula. It's cool. It's got a way with the women. Yeah, I always liked that type of uh, uh, those uh, surroundings. And we've been to like Transylvania. We've been to what was deemed as Dracula's castle in Romania. And so I always liked that type of uh, imagery and uh, that character. I mean, he's a mean mother, I guess. But I thought he was cooler than Superman, if you know what I mean. I drink coffee right before I brush my I love to, to have a coffee right before I go to bed, which is kind of a, not a normal thing. I think people tend to not drink coffee because they, then they can't fall asleep. But I don't have that problem. I, I like it. Coffee and then brush my teeth. <laughs> Plumbing, because we need to have that work done on the house. And it's good money too, I hear. Maybe I'll leave the you know, van and do Ackerfeld's plumbing service instead. Blofeld, you know, some, some of the cool James Bond knick-knack. The little short guy with the, with the hat in uh, Man with the Golden Gun. Odd Job had the hat with the... But he didn't have any lines, Odd Job. Maybe that's good, actually. But knick-knack looked the same, but smaller. Salt and licorice. It's popular in Northern uh, Europe, we, but salt and licorice is on a different level. It's, it's really good. And there's like a posh chain uh, in uh, maybe not only Stockholm, but it might be the uh, whole of Sweden that sells like high-end salty licorice. And it's so salty that it's bad for your heart. To, you can feel like your heart's racing. It's like a, a drug, basically. And then whenever I have that and I give it to someone who's not from is not familiar with salt and licorice, they think it's the most disgusting thing ever. But I love it so much. And there is ice cream, uh, salt and licorice ice cream in Sweden, but uh, it's not salty enough for me, but it's still very good. I hit my head on tour and cut, you know, cracked my skull, not my skull, but like I had to get my head stapled back together right before we were supposed to go on to, pl to play in, uh, I want to say Milwaukee. And I hit my head and started bleeding. It's like, oh, f you know, I'm on in 10 minutes or something. And came into the dressing room and uh, it's like, people are, oh, yeah, what's the matter? It's like, I hit my head, can you have a look? And there's like, oh my God. And I was like, is it bad? Yeah. Oh shit, okay, but uh, yeah, we're going on then. We have to just get this out. And then the paramedics came to take a look and they said like, this is not good. And at that point I started like going pale. And so we canceled the show. But I was like, uh, five minutes before I was ready. But then I started feeling sick. So I got like seven staples in my head. And uh, that, I mean, it hurt. It wasn't that bad. I remember when I was a kid, somebody threw a stone at my hand and I got like plaster around, you know, like a big... 
uh, that hurt like hell, I remember. But I, I've been fortunate. I haven't uh, hurt myself that many times.